in this video we will see the anatomy of liver so this is the liver it is the largest gland of our body and it is containing the two lobes so this one is the right lobe which is on the right of this falciform ligament this is the falciform ligament and the lobe which is lying on the right side of it this is the right lobe and the lobe which is lying on the left side of it this is the left lobe now the surface is this is the anterior surface of the liver this is the superior surface and this is the visceral surface because it is in contact with the viscerals that is why it is named as visceral surface and it is being divided into the posterior and this is the inferior surface now the borders only one border is prominent this is the inferior border which is prominent in the liver this inferior border possesses two notches this is the cystic notch which lodges the fundus of the gallbladder and this is the notch for ligamentum teres so this is the ligamentum teres which is containing in this notch and this one is the right lateral surface of the liver now we again come to the lobes this is the right lobe which is the largest and this is the smaller left lobe on the posterior inferior surface we have four lobes this is the right lobe again and this is the left lobe and there are two extra lobes over here this is the caudate lobe and the lower one is the quadrate lobe this quadrangular lobe is the quadrate lobe the boundaries of the quadrate lobe are on the right side this is the fossa for the gallbladder which is containing the gallbladder on the left side this is the fissure for ligamentum teres above it is bounded by the porta hepatis and below it is bounded by the inferior border so this is the quadrate lobe and this is the caudate lobe this caudate lobe is continuous with the right lobe of the liver through this process which is known as papillary caudate process and on the left side this is the papillary process and this is the groove for inferior vena cava which is containing the inferior vena cava now the openings of hepatic veins these are the openings for hepatic veins which are draining into the inferior vena cava these are the openings for hepatic veins these are again the supports for liver then this is again the fissure this is the fissure for ligamentum venosum which is containing the ductus venosus ligamentum venosum which is the remnant of ductus venosus and at the porta hepatis we can see this is the hepatic artery this one is the hepatic artery this is portal vein which is having a larger diameter and thin wall and this is the gallbladder cystic duct so these are the structures which are at the porta hepatis for placing the organ in the anatomical position we hold this in such a way that this uh, opening for the inferior vena cava should be directed upwards so this is the anatomical position of liver